Chapter 3, Section 3, Spam. As we continue exploring a linear algebra, understanding the concepts of linear combination and a spam is crucial for building a solid foundation. These concepts are fundamental for describing vector spaces and are used extensively in data science. In this section, we will recap the concept of linear combinations first and explore what the spans are, how to compute them, and why they are important. Let's recap the concept of linear combination. A linear combination is an expression made up of a set of vectors where each vector is multiplied by a scalar and the results are added together. If U and V are vectors and A and B are scalars, a linear combination of U and V can be expressed in this way. Linear combination is a way to construct new vectors from existing ones and are used to describe how vectors can be combined to form other vectors. Geometrically, a linear combination involves scaling vectors and then adding them together. The result is a new vector that represents a position in space relative to the original vectors. If we think of vectors as arrows, the linear combination is a way to move along these arrows to reach a new point. In two dimensions, if we have two vectors, u and v, any point in a plane can be reached by an appropriate linear combination of these two vectors, provided they are not parallel. This concept leads us to the idea of the span. Let's go on to a new concept, span. First, we should know that a span is defined for a particular set of vectors. By definition, the span of a set of vectors is the collection of all possible linear combinations of those vectors. It represents all the vectors that can be formed by scaling and adding together the given vectors. The span is an essential concept in linear algebra because it describes the reach of the set of vectors within a vector space. Let's see the mathematical definition of a span. Here, we consider a set of vectors in a vector space V, and we denote each vector in this vector space as V1, V2, Vn. And consider arbitrary scalar values in a field, Xi1, Xi2, Xi n. For a set of vectors V1, V2, Vn in a vector space V, the span of these vectors, denoted as span V1, V2, Vn, is the set of all linear combination of V1, V2, Vn. Let me emphasize that span is defined with respect to a specific set of vectors. Let's consider two vectors, V1 and V2, in R2. These vectors are linearly independent. The span of the collection of V1, V2 includes all possible linear combinations of V1 and V2. Suppose we want to represent a vector V as a linear combination of V1 and V2. This means we need to find scalars C1 and C2 for this equation. This gives us the system of equations. Solving this system, we can find that C1 equals 1 and C2 equals 3. Therefore, we can express a vector v as a linear combination of v1 and v2. The span of v1 and v2 covers the entire R2 space, meaning that any vector in R2 can be written as a linear combination of v1 and v2, because they are linearly independent and span the space. Geometrically, 
The span of a set of vectors represents all the points that can be reached by scaling and adding those vectors. In one dimensional space, the span of a single vector is a line through the horizon in the direction of that vector. In two dimensional space, the span of two linearly independent vectors is the entire plane. In three dimensional space, the span of three linearly independent vectors is the entire 3D space. The span of the set of vectors v1, v2 consists of all vectors that can be expressed as a linear combination of those two vectors. If v1 and v2 are linearly independent, the span covers the entire corresponding vector space. In this case, any 2D vector can be expressed as a linear combination of v1 and v2, meaning there are no vectors that are not included in the span. However, if v1 and v2 are linearly dependent, that is, if one vector is a scalar multiple of the other, the span is limited to a one-dimensional subspace, a line. In this case, vectors that are not included in the span are those that do not lie on that line. Let's consider these two vectors. Here, since v1 and v2 are linearly dependent, the span consists of all vectors lying on the same line as v1. Specifically, the span can be expressed in this way. It means that any vector in the span must be a scalar multiple of v1. Thus, for example, vectors like 1, 2, and 4, 8 are included in this span, but vectors like 1, 1, or 0, 1 are not included because they do not align on the line spanned by v1 and v2. In summary, vectors not included in the span are those that cannot be expressed as a linear combination of the vectors forming the span. In the case of a one-dimensional span, any vector that does not align on that line is not included. The span of a set of vectors does not necessarily coincide with the entire vector space that the vectors belong to, but it always forms a subspace of that vector space. The span of a set of vectors consists of all the possible linear combinations of those vectors. Depending on the number of vectors and their linear independence, the span may or may not cover the entire vector space. If the set of vectors is linearly independent and has the same number of vectors as the dimension of the vector space, then the span will cover the entire space. For example, in R3, if you have three linearly independent vectors, their span will cover all of R3. However, if you have fewer vectors than the dimension of the space, for example, two vectors in R3, the span can only form a subspace of the vector space. In this case, the span of the two vectors in R3 will form a plane, not the entire 3D space, because two vectors can only define a flat surface. Thus, the span of a set of vectors always forms a subspace, meaning it is closed under vector addition and a scalar multiplication, even if it does not cover the entire vector space. Consider these two vectors in R3. We are in 3D space but have only two vectors, so these vectors can only span a plane. Two vectors, no matter how independent, cannot span the full 3D space because they do not provide enough dimensions to do so. Therefore, 
The span of the collection of V1 and V2 forms a plane through the horizon in R3, which is a subspace of R3, but not the entire space. In summary, the span of a set of vectors always forms a subspace of the vector space, even if it does not coincident with the entire vector space. The concept of a span has many practical implications for data science. These are some of them. The first is feature engineering. Feature engineering involves creating new features by combining or transforming existing ones, which effectively expands the span of the feature space and allows the model to capture more complex patterns in the data. Data transformation. Span plays a key role in transformation, such as scaling, translating, or rotating datasets. These transformations rely on understanding how the span of the data changes, allowing for effective manipulation of high-dimensional datasets. Dimensionality reduction. Techniques like principal component analysis leverage the span of principal components to project the data into a lower dimensional space while retaining most of the important information. This reduces the complexity of the model and speeds up the computation. Insight into data structure Understanding how data points span a space provides insights into its structure. This can help reveal clusters, direction of variance, or hidden patterns, leading to better data interpretation and decision making. Let's summarize the key points of this section. Span of a set of vectors is the collection of all possible linear combinations of those vectors. It represents all the vectors that can be formed by scaling and adding together the given vectors. Geometrically, the span of a set of vectors represents all the points that can be reached by scaling and adding those vectors. The span of a set of vectors does not necessarily coincide with the entire vector space that the vectors belong to but it always forms a subspace of that vector space. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.